Welcome to OnShape. We are going to make our first sketch today, which should be a cube with a hole in it when it's complete. So in order to make a document or a sketch in OnShape, you need to first click on Create. Go ahead and click on Create, then Document. Let's call this Cube. Then click on Create Public Document. And you enter the OnShape 3D drawing space. In order to begin and make a 3D document, you first need to make a sketch. So we we'll bring our cursor over to where it says Sketch. And you also need to pick a plane. So we're going to pick Front. And then right click on front and the bottom of all the choices you should see view normal to sketch plane go ahead and click on that and you should then be looking sort of straight forward at the front of your drawing in order to make a cube we first need to use the rectangle tool so bring your cursor up here this is the rectangle tool Click on the little arrow with the drop down menu and let's pick corner rectangle. Click, come back onto the front face, click, drag, click again, and you've made a rectangle. But it's not a three inch square like it was supposed to be. So we need to give the rectangle dimensions. This double arrowed icon is the dimension tool. Go ahead and click on it, come down to whatever line you want to give a dimension to. When you hover over the line, it should highlight. Go ahead and click, drag, click, and we want this to be three inches. So enter three, then enter, and you should see that it changed the line's length to three inches. Now we need to give the other line the same length. You should see that the dimension tool is still highlighted, so we don't need to click it again. Just bring your cursor over the line, click, drag, click again, three, enter. And you should have a three by three inch square. So we're going to accept that by clicking the green check mark. But we don't just want a square, we want a cube. So that means we need to give this drawing depth. That's pretty simple to do. Go back and select the square by placing your cursor over it and click. Now bring your cursor up to the cube looking icon, which is the extrusion tool. Go ahead and click on that, and it brings up a menu. Two things you should note in this menu are the add and remove options. Eventually, you can use the add to put more material onto an existing drawing, and you can use the remove option to take material away basically to put a hole or carve a niche into an existing drawing but for now we're just going to leave it on the new option go down to depth and this is supposed to be a cube which means the depth is the same as the length and the width so enter the number three go up and click the check mark and now you can use your arrow keys left and right to see what you've made. If you've done it correctly, it should look like a cube. And that's it. For our first step in, the, in your first sketch, you've made the cube and you can move on to the next tutorial.